Everyone has heard of the black market, but not everyone knows what's bought and sold there, from everything from adoptions to pharmaceuticals, even human organs. Mm. People all over the world seek out illicit trade. Now a new series on fusion called The Traffickers explores the dark underside of the black market. It's hosted by Nalufar Hedayat, who was once an Afghan refugee and is now a British journalist. And in an upcoming episode, she speaks to a man who bought a kidney in Pakistan before it was declared illegal there. Take a look. You want to solve the problem of people dying of kidney disease, you're going to have to be able to give people an incentive. It always gets down to somehow selling a kidney is an evil act. It's an illegal act. Which denies people the right to make their own decision about what they want to do with their bodies. Yeah. Wow. A lot of these things make you think, welcome. Welcome. Thank You've you. been in 21 countries in the last year of filming this, right? At least. If you count Britain, where we did a bit of the filming, that's 22. So, yeah, I've been, I've been to a few places. So when you listen to a guy like this who's talking about human trafficking, and usually you always think, well, there are people with white hats on and black hats. There's good and evil. But sometimes it gets a little muddy, doesn't it? What was really interesting making this series is figuring out that actually we are all involved and everything is gray. Huh. It's easy to think that there's a seedy guy down some shadowy alleyway like selling organs or gold or rhino horn but actually we're all involved in some stage which is how what, is that yeah that's i mean child trafficking yeah. and human trafficking well if you think just... about it nothing moves unless somebody stamps something unless right. a customs official looks the other way unless a police officer doesn't stop a certain car yeah and usually we put those people with the white hats don't we we yeah. say they're the right people they're doing the right job so what we found in our series, The Traffickers, was that actually everybody's involved in a little way. And at the end of the day, ladies, people who buy the goods, whether it's a rhino horn, whether it's sex, or whether it's children, mm. are the people who are allowing these markets to continue. Wow. So it's wow. really it so much if more. There wasn't a huge I, market for it. I can only it. imagine some of the sticky or scary situations you yourself have been in. You're, yeah. you're a journalist because you want to make a difference, but do you ever sit and. I'm, I can only. Describe what it is like to be you on the road sometimes. It's often dangerous, yeah. isn't it? Well, it is, yes. And I think my team, who involve loads of people who are so hardworking um, behind the scenes, they all try really hard to protect me and to mitigate any risks we take. But at the end of the day, when I'm in a situation where I'm rigged up with secret cameras sitting in front of a rhino horn trafficker who's a bit shady and suspicious, that's me and that's them. So you're shooting it, you're reporting it, you're doing With everything right there, just you're like a one man band. Kind in that of thing. moment, I'm, I'm doing everything, but I don't make the whole show. I mean, of really. Yeah. I mean, you're not <laughs> taking, yeah, we yeah, understand. We know you're not taking but, but they're always around and they can hear you, they can hear what's going on. No, no. Sometimes, I mean, there was this one situation in Vietnam where we go to to cover the rhino horn story where a guy takes me to another guy who takes me to another guy, and three or four hours later, I'm in a village that doesn't exist it's not on a map wow. there are rhino horns ivory there's illicit contraband everywhere can we ask a question why why do it because yeah. a lot of people would say wow i think i'd take an easier path than the one you're taking i think i was born in afghanistan during the soviet occupation during war so my idea of risk yeah <laughs> is slightly different but also i feel because of my background because of who i am that I'm compelled to tell the stories of people, sometimes children, sometimes victims in tough spots, um, who can't tell the story themselves. So I just feel like it's my responsibility um, as a refugee, as a woman, as a brown person, to just go out there and <laughs> do these things. a beautiful brown yes. person. Aren't you two lovely? Yeah. <laughs> Nell, thank you so much. We Boy, really appreciate it. You're amazing. Yeah, Congratulations. You, really you be thank careful, you so all right? Yeah. Thank you. you can catch the premiere of wow. The Traffickers this Sunday night. Don't you feel shallow? Yeah, I feel like Me I too. am. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.